Hello, my lovely humans. Welcome back. If you're wondering about the earrings and like the makeup and the shirt, I was filming all day today. Many of the videos that I was filming are going to go up in February. Um, and some of them were like romantic countdown things that you can look forward to. And I thought, since I'm filming the whole day anyway, um, for some, for a January, you know, it's early January when you're seeing this. I figured we don't want anything too intense. You know, we're just coming off the holidays. We're back to work. Let's have something that will keep us chill on the low vibe thing. I thought it would be kind of amusing to give a little keychain tour. I, as you can see, love keychains. Um, haven't been as big about collecting them in this past year. I think I only have one new one from this year. And before anybody freaks out, because there's going to be a human who's going to lose their mind about, you can't put that in your ignition, it'll break the key off, ba 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 show your peaches love. I only have one keychain on my actual car keys. It is my favorite keychain my brother got me from... Sailor Moon, it's her crystal wand, the moon crystal wand. That's the only one that's on there. And I also have, there's no actual keys on this keychain set. My house keys on this. It has a bunch of cards from like mostly drugstores like Drug Mart, Rite Aid, CVS. Um, I have my library card an AutoZone reward card and like a Bueller's grocery store thing. And the only actual keychain that I have on it, like decorative one, is this tarot card, the Hierophant, uh, because that is the um, card associated with my sun sign, Leo. So let's get into this. I don't want this to be super long. I'm going to try to keep this under 10 minutes, under nine if we can. So let's go. So we're just going to we're just going to grab things. So we're going to start with this little one, I guess. This is just a little tassel. I thought that it's so cute. I love 1920s-esque stuff. So that's quite cute. And attached to that one, we'll just go right. This is Misa Misa from Death Note. Very much enjoyed that anime. And also attached to that, this is a, uh, was made for me by a friend who I actually don't talk to anymore, but... I did still keep the thing that she made me. I do love keychains. And then this is a souvenir. <laughs> it's very old. It's a Mickey Mouse keychain because that my parents got from Disneyland when I was one or Disney World, whichever one is in California. And that's why they said they didn't take me any other time when I asked when I was a child because I did go there when I was one. I don't think that counts. Um, see, and also other, there's a lot of anime stuff on here. This is Kakashi from Naruto, and also on there is Aruka, like it's a big fat version of Aruka, the chibi version on there. Um, then this is my newest one. This is when I went to Erie, Pennsylvania this year. It says Erie PA on it, and it's just a little, a little drop I got it from a local shop, you know, being supportive. This Hawaii one actually came with the keys when we got the house. And because my dad knows I like keychains, he just gave it to me. Also, if there's any question about my name, um, my friend, um, who, when I worked at the bar, one of my very, very dear friends who passed away um, last year, gave me a keychain and a whole bunch of other stuff from Florida when he moved there. Uh, miss him very much. I made these beads and this little tassel chain. Um, it was in my Mariah Elizabeth inspired videos if you go look at that. I also had a couple friends who gave me, I, I'm trying to remember, I think that I was given these by two different friends. This was a lighthouse one that I think was given to me uh, by a friend and former supervisor. I'm trying to get it to show, oh there it goes. And then this one is also a beach one, and it has a little saying about friends on the back. It's quite cute. Uh, my friend Danny made me a crocheted this um, chain for me, and she also bought me uh, this mermaid skeleton. She, um, her and I are both really into Halloween. Another friend from high school who I don't get to see anymore made me this, and it was actually supposed to be an earring, but the 
loop thing broke and I attached it on here so that I could still maintain it. This was a free keychain and I believe this is um, from the last Airbender, the second um, season, the, or not season, but the the second part when they're all grown up from the original season. I have uh, one of the duck copters from Mario. I know that everyone calls that thing something different, so please don't come at me. Uh, there's so much stuff. I'm trying to make sure I got it all. Did we get it all? I think so. Oh, no. One more thing. One more thing. Two more things. Three more things. I lied. So I made this little crochet belt when I worked at a daycare when I was helping the kids do little crafts. And I can't get it off of the keychain. It's tangled up here. And it's also tangled and attached to my Nintendo controller keychain. So I don't take that off. And uh, where was the other thing? I just had it. There it is. I don't know how that got lost in the shuffle. But this is a Beetlejuice as a sandworm. Um, that my friend Danny also got for me. Again, both really into Halloween. And that is my little keychain tour. Like I said, I just thought it was a nice low vibe. You know, back to work. Everyone's back to doing things. Let's keep it chill. I will see you in the next videos. Tell me what you would like to see in the coming year. I'm very open to suggestions within reason. Okay. And I will see you later. Bye, my humans. I need a button. In case you wonder what I do immediately after. <laughs> filming. <laughs>